Hi everyone, I'm making a DIY night cream. Um, make sure you check my other videos with my day cream and my eye gel, but I put it in this little jar that I got at Whole Foods, and it's kind of a big jar, but you can see it in there. It's very emollient cream, and um, I might even make a big batch and use it on my hands since my hands are so dry now at this age. My, Scandinavian skin that I have um, it has all kinds of really nice ingredients it's easy to make and so first I'm going to show you all the ingredients then I'll show you how I make it then I'll show you how I apply it at night and then we'll come back here are all of the ingredients as you saw in the last clip I have a jar that I got at Whole Foods it's plastic I like it because it's dark and I clean it out with rubbing alcohol. Then I also have a popsicle stick that I use as a stir stick and also three measuring spoons. Another interesting thing is a sharp needle or pin and I clean that with the rubbing alcohol as well. Then I have some shea butter and avocado oil, evening primrose oil, and vitamin E cream. Next, I'm going to measure out the shea butter. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of it and put it into a glass um, measuring cup because I'm going to microwave it for 30 to 90 seconds depending on how hot or you can use it in a double boiler and then after it heats and melts let it cool for about five to ten minutes. Next I'm going to start with the avocado oil and I'm going to measure out one quarter teaspoon and put it into my little container. Then I'm going to take one capsule of the evening primrose oil and pierce it with a needle that I've already cleaned with the alcohol. I'm not going to touch the actual oil. Then I'll squeeze it out of the capsule into the container. Now that the shea butter has cooled, I'll add that. And then using the popsicle stick, I'll mix it together. Then after I mix this, it really needs to cool because remember that shea butter is actually fairly solid in its regular state. So now I need to let it cool in my house for about 20 to 30 minutes, but you want to wait till it's got that rich creamy texture. And now I'm ready to add the vitamin E cream and I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of that cream. You can also use your regular moisturizer if you um, prefer to not go to the drugstore to buy a jar of vitamin E cream. Then after I put this in, I'm going to mix it really well because it's only semi-hardened at this point after it's cooled. So I want to mix it till it's really, really mixed. And then um, I'm going to let it sit for a while again. It's going to thicken even more and become a really emollient cream. I'm, I'm trying to show it to you. It's kind of dark coming that way. But I'm just going to tap some on to the skin under my eye and under the brow bone. I don't put it on the lid because putting it on the brow bone, um, creams will travel on our skin a half an inch to an inch. So it'll, you know, it'll eventually make its way to um, the skin over my eye, but I don't want it to get in my eye. And I'm also gonna put some on the skin above my lip because I don't like how that's looking lately. And it's so nice and rich, I decided I want more. <laughs> so I put even more under my eyes and my eyes feel great in the morning. 
then with that little bit extra that I have in my hand, hmm, I think I'll just rub some on my hand. It feels that good. So that's my DIY night cream. I love this stuff. It goes on so nicely and um, I wake up in the morning and my skin is really soft around my eyes. I've just started using it because I made this not too long ago. So I'm really excited to find something that's easy to make and these ingredients that I put into it, you know, you, you can see how little goes into it. There isn't much and you don't want to make a huge batch of it anyway at a time. Um, I also, <laughs> this got wet, so I don't have a label maker, but I did print out um, night eye cream on this one so that I could tell, when the jars are closed, you can't tell what, what's what. So apparently I should get a label maker because when you print something out on your printer and then it gets a little bit wet, <laughs> it goes like that. But I use a double-sided tape on the back and just tape it up. So, um, I hope you enjoy that. Make sure you watch the other videos with the day eye cream that has some sunscreen and the eye gel as well. Thanks. Bye.